Hey everybody and welcome back. So today we are going to start the task of cleaning all the channel modules. Um, so I figured we would start with the master, the master channel just because I think this is the most visually uh, cool looking. So uh, the procedure is going to be removing all of the knobs. Um, I'm just going to soak those and scrub those in some dishwashing liquid, let them dry, and um, we'll, uh, we'll go a little bit out of time and get everything, uh, get everything cleaned up. So uh, the first step, we are going to uh, pull, pull all the, uh, the, pull the fader cap and all the knobs and get this out. Um, we'll get those soaking in some dishwasher solution, and then we'll pull our master fader and start working on that. So here we go. Okay, so we've got all the knobs off. Here's what we've got going on. Um, here is a close-up of the concentric pots, the dual layer pots for the matrices. This is what they look like with the knobs off of it. Um, and I'm looking at all the buttons, and I don't think that any of them are really super bad. Um, I'd like to avoid taking the button caps off if I can. Um, that seems like it's gonna be a pretty pretty tedious process, but they all look like they're in pretty all right shape. I, I suppose if um, on some of the other channels, if they're bad, uh, we can take them off and uh, look at it. So uh, for the time being, I am going to get, well, actually, I feel like I can't rob you of this shot. I'm going to get all of these knobs soaking in just some, some dishwasher liquid and get them all scrubbed up and get them back. So uh, I'm gonna get that going, and then while those are soaking, we'll uh, we'll start cleaning the channel. Okay, so since this is the first one, I figured we'd do it in real time just so you can kind of see the crud that's gonna come out of here. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna spray a little bit of contact cleaner in here just to blow out some of the dirt. And I'm just gonna slide this little tray so you can see how it it just wants to bite in here and it's pretty dirty there's a lot of of lint and just general dirt so let's get our let's get our pad in here so this is just the top and that's what came off i didn't even touch the the circuit board so we're just gonna hug this rail <laughs> so this is already sliding better even just after that first little bit so i think what i'm going to do now is just wedge this underneath here just really get it Yeah, there's all kinds of crud coming off of that thing. Some of the problems when you're dealing with group faders and master faders, they never, they never leave their position. 
because they're masters, you know, so you gotta figure that if you're gonna have problems with faders, it's probably gonna be in group faders, master faders of matrices, you know, things that that may not be moving a whole lot. Let's get our little tray cleaned out of here. These little cotton rounds are very good, um, but they're just extremely linty. Let's shoot some contact cleaner in our our connector. All right, so once we've got this thing relatively cleaned, I actually think that I'm gonna hit this with a brush. This detail brush has been, has just been a rock star on this, on this project. I highly, highly recommend if you're doing any of this detail kind of work that you grab this brush. It is just amazing. So I wanna just push my finger on the end here it was catching before, you know, if you put awkward pressure on it. Um, it is just, it's like a different thing. So um, as far as lubrication goes, I have some silicone oil that I'm just going to put a teeny drop on each rail and just work that in and let that get going. need that much for this thing to really start making a difference. It's kind of amazing actually, just that one little drop. I already made this made this way better. You know, if you use too much It'll attract dust and keep that in there, so we don't want to do that. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just gently put this back together like this. Inside. I'm just going to use my flathead screwdriver to pry this up. And there we go. Here's our new Alps fader, which feels way better. We just have to repeat this about 60 more times. So here we go. Okay, so the master module is clean. Our knobs are looking way better. Everything's nice and clean. Um, I was able to use WD-40 and get a lot of this rust, this surface rust off. So I think I'm gonna kind of keep going with that on the uh, on the insides just to get anything that's uh, kind of I wouldn't say loose, but we'll say blooming off. So, all right, off to the uh, matrices and the uh, monitor channel.
All right, the first four channels are in. This is uh, really starting to look like something now. I'm uh, getting pretty excited about seeing everything else finished up, even with just the first four in there. So um, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to try to get all the groups finished up, and at least we'll have the master section in. Um, and then it'll really start to look like something. So thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody has a great day.